everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. One of the biggest successes in the Marvel Universe is the adaptation of multiple versions of Spider-Man, specifically the one in the black and red suit. But wait, I'm not talking about Peter Parker, Kane Scarlet Spider, or Superior Spider-Man this time, but Miles Morales. While he's made his debut in comics, he's also had many appearances in TV shows, films, and even video games with amazing character arcs. To find out about his different on-screen storylines, I'll be your guide as we delve into the evolution of his Spider-Man through the decades. Number 1. Ultimate Spider-Man It all starts in his home dimension, where he witnessed the death of Spider-Man at the hands of the ruthless Ultimate Goblin. Feeling guilty for not intervening, Maybe I could have saved him, but I was scared. Miles takes up the mantle after he gains powers of his own. But things get even crazier when he meets Spider-Man from another dimension. So you're not dead? I'm not what now? Who has been chasing his own goblin across the multiverse. Together, they team up to stop both of their goblins, but their adventure is far from over. When a new threat emerges, Hydra summoning the goblin to another dimension, Miles drops everything to help Peter save the universe from destruction. If you really need help, I'm your guy. He may have sacrificed his ticket back home, but he felt at home after meeting the Web Warriors. Welcome to the team, Spider-Man! Over the course of the series, Miles has countless adventures with the Web Warriors. He even takes on a new name to differentiate himself from the other Spider-Man, Kid Arachnid. Not bad, actually! But when the multiverse is at risk, Miles and Peter must travel across dimensions to gather the pieces of an ancient device while chasing the evil wolf spider. Despite all of the danger and risk he faces, Miles ultimately finds a new family in Peter's dimension and decides to stay there with his mom. Number 2. Marvel Superhero Adventures Now most people probably haven't seen this series, as its main target audience is preschoolers. It aired on Disney Junior and is packed with stories around Spider-Man's exciting adventures with supervillains and life lessons. The key is to never give up. I learned that from my buddy, Miles Morales. Now Miles makes his return for several short episodes in several seasons, and by several, I mean only two episode appearances in two seasons. In his first appearance, Miles teams up with Spider-Man to stop Dr. Octopus's evil plan. Whenever there's trouble, Miles can use his Venom Strike and his spider webbing to save the day. But that's not all, they also chase a runaway cat that's stuck in a drone's package. In another episode, Miles and Spider-Man face off against the Hobgoblin, who's been dumping garbage over a new playground. Although the duo initially struggles, they eventually pull through and teach the audience valuable life lessons. You made a mistake, but we learned from making mistakes, so now you can fix it. From admitting to making mistakes and learning from them to keep the city clean, Miles and Peter show what it means to be a hero. While he also does appear in the specials, they're basically short games regarding the journey the runaway cat made from Miles' first appearance. Number 3. Marvel Spider-Man In the series with a title that is difficult to differentiate unless you add the year, Miles goes to Horizon High, a high school for geniuses. He works on all sorts of cool projects with his friends Anya and Gwen before welcoming the new student, Peter Parker. Welcome to the Think Tank, Pete. This is where we mix, mingle, and motivate. Miles and Peter become good friends, and Miles starts to pick up on Peter's sense of humor when chaos follows Spider-Man. Do you know what they call a group of rhinos? <laughs> crash! They're called a crash! One day, Miles has a run-in with Spencer Smythe and gets bitten by one of Oscorp's genetically altered spiders. Before he knows it, he's got superpowers and reacts to save Spider-Man from his demise. After creating his own Spider-Man suit, he reveals his identity to Peter, Gwen, and Anya and decides to start fighting crime as a superhero. Of course, things don't go quite as planned. Miles accidentally reveals his neighborhood on TV, trying to do my neighborhood on 14th Street proud. Oh. And pretty soon, he's being pursued by Max wanting the new Spider-Man. But Miles is resourceful. He discovers that he can generate electricity to create a venom blast to escape from danger. With Spider-Man as his mentor after he reveals his identity, Miles learns the ropes I can't wait to shoot these things after you practice. Doesn't mind following orders. Get everyone back in the auditorium. Crowd control it is. Finds new ways to use his electricity and later discovers he can also turn invisible. I just 
just wanted to show you what I can do on my own. As his experience grows, he fights supervillains, saves the city from people turned into spiders, battles Dr. Octopus as Spider-Man, and even teams up with Ghost Spider and Spider-Girl. Eventually, Miles takes on the name Spidey, and he has all sorts of crazy adventures, including teaming up with Doctor Strange, becoming venomized himself, and discovering that his dad is the supervillain Swarm. Number 4. Spider-Man Homecoming Now yes, you're right, if you've seen this film before, you know Miles Morales never makes a physical appearance. Well, that part is true since he doesn't appear physically, but he does get a slight reference, confirming his character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In the film, Peter is trying to get information about an arms deal involving high-tech weapons and the villainous Vulture. He goes through his footage and identifies someone he can get intel from, Aaron Davis. As Spider-Man webs Aaron to his car to get answers, Aaron reveals that he also doesn't want those kind of weapons on the street because he has someone important who lives in the neighborhood. I don't want those weapons in this neighborhood. I got a nephew who lives here. After getting the information he needs, Spider-Man leaves. But in a deleted scene, Aaron is left with nothing to do and nowhere to go after trying to escape. So what does he do? He calls up Miles. Yeah, sorry Miles, I'm not, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I'm just stuck. Number 5. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse Considered as a comic book film masterpiece, Miles' superhero origin begins with his reluctance to change schools and attend Brooklyn Visions Academy. I would prefer to be at a normal school among the people. The people? These are your people. He tries to quit. A few more of those, you'd probably have to kick me out of here, huh? But his teacher instead assigns him a personal essay, which he struggles to write. Wanting a distraction, Miles heads to meet his Uncle Aaron, whom he's close to. Before he knows it, they start putting up graffiti in an abandoned subway, when suddenly, Miles is bitten by a radioactive spider. The next day, not realizing he has powers, he meets Gwen and causes a scene, but things go really crazy when he witnesses Spider-Man battling the Green Goblin. When Spider-Man saves Miles and promises to show him the ropes, You're gonna be fine. I can help you. If you, if you stick around, I can show you the ropes. Yeah. Kingpin activates his collider, opening multiple dimensions. In the chaos, Goblin shoves Spider-Man into the collider, causing an explosion. Injured, Peter tells Miles to destroy the collider using his key, though Kingpin savagely kills Peter. Miles accidentally destroys the key, but then he meets another Peter. Are you from another dimension? Like a parallel universe where you're Spider-Man in that universe? That was really just a guess? Who becomes his mentor, and they team up to get a new key. Along the way, they meet Spider-Man variants, including Spider-Gwen, who Miles grows close with, Spider-Ham, Spider-Noir, and Penny Parker. As they can't stay, you stay here, you'll die. Miles is determined to save them, but struggles to control his powers. To make matters worse, he discovers that his uncle is a prowler, and Kingpin kills him for not killing Miles. However, his father's speech inspires him to take a leap of faith to become Spider-Man. He then uses his powers to help the team, sends them home, destroys the Collider, and defeats Kingpin. Finally, he finishes his essay and grows closer with his dad when they create a mural of Uncle Aaron. Number 6. Marvel Spider-Man In the first entry of Insomniac's Marvel Universe, we find Miles, a Spider-Man fanboy, capturing Spidey swinging through the city. He later regroups with his parents for his dad's ceremony. You got this, dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. But during his dad's acceptance speech, Mr. Negative and the demons attack. After Miles saves his mom from debris, he begins searching for his dad. In a dramatic turn, Miles discovers that his father died because he used his body to shield others. At the funeral, Peter offers his condolences, but Miles has trouble coping. I'm sorry, I was just try trying to help. I know. After finding comfort in volunteering at the feast shelter, Peter helps him settle in. Pretty great that even though he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, he decided to come and volunteer, don't you think? Despite learning that the man responsible for his dad's death is Feast's founder, Miles continues to help. After near-death experience and saving Spider-Man from his demise, Miles is sent on a supply run to pick up antibiotics. He takes them back from convicts, but after barely escaping from Rhino, 
He uses self-defense techniques that Spider-Man taught him earlier. However, Aunt May later gets sick from a virus Dr. Octopus released, so Miles runs the feast shelter and helps cure infected people. But when Oscorp's genetically altered spider bites him, Miles comforts Peter at Aunt May's funeral, and he reveals his powers to him. It's pretty weird, right? Not that weird. The game's DLC takes things up a notch, as Miles frequently calls Peter for Spider-Man training. At first, Peter is hesitant, but as Miles eventually understands the importance of the role, he begins training Miles. Just try to keep up. Number 7. Marvel Spider-Man, Miles Morales. The second entry follows Miles becoming Spider-Man. A year later, as Miles adjusts to his move to Harlem, he's slowly getting the hang of being a superhero. When Peter calls him for help in protecting a convoy transporting Rhino, he suits up and jumps into action. But things take a turn for the worse when Rhino escapes and Peter loses consciousness. In a moment of focus, Miles discovers his bioelectric powers and manages to defeat Rhino. After meeting Simon Krieger, head of R&D at Roxxon Energy, Peter reveals that he'll be leaving New York and trusts it safe in Miles' hands. New York's only Spider-Man. But that's not all. Miles tries on the suit Peter gave him before reconnecting with his old best friend, Finn. The next day, after using his best friend Genki's app and Uncle Aaron deducing his identity, the underground later attacks. Miles confronts their leader, the Tinkerer, who turns out to be none other than Finn herself. As he learns he can turn invisible when Roxxon tries to kill him, Miles escapes. Wanting answers, he creates a new suit with Genki and investigates. Uncovering the truth behind New Form, he makes shocking discoveries. His uncle is a prowler, and Finn's motive is Simon killing her brother. Per his uncle's suggestion, Miles goes undercover to learn Finn's evil plan to destroy Roxxon. Finn's pumping energy into the new form, making it unstable like my Venom did. He then recovers evidence to arrest Krieger, but fails to convince Finn to stop her plan. But the stakes are high when Miles must fight his uncle for betraying him. I can't turn my back when people need me. I have to be better than that. And intervening in the Roxxon and underground war. While his uncle helps stop the war, Miles confronts Finn and battles her. Too late to stop the reactor, Miles absorbs all its energy but can't hold it in any longer. So Finn sacrifices herself before Miles releases the energy on the city. Four weeks later, Miles is now Harlem's hero and shares his story with Peter. Does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier though. Number 8. Spidey and his amazing friends. Now here's another Disney Junior series that is perfect for younger audiences featuring a trio of spider heroes. Miles, Peter's best friend, is one of the main protagonists, and with Gwen Stacy, aka Ghost Spider, they take on supervillains in the city. However, with three spiders on the team, to avoid confusing the supercomputer, Spider-Man, I'm Spider-Man too! Miles takes the name Spin, and Peter remains Spider-Man. Miles is always cracking jokes, and is always ready for some friendly competition with his team. Miles? When there's trouble, the trio heads to their web quarters and suit up to face supervillains like Doc Ock, Green Goblin, Rhino, and Electro. In battle, he often uses his cloaking powers and arachno stings to stop them. You mean the ghost was you? Haha, <laughs> gotcha, Gobby. Miles makes over 80 appearances in the series, so there's no way I can talk about all his adventures in just one segment. However, I can mention that besides his Spidey team, he also teams up with other superheroes like Iron Man. I call it the power bubble. It's definitely the most powerful bubble I've ever seen. Miss Marvel, Black Panther, and many more. With team ups, they share the responsibility of keeping the city safe from more supervillains like Black Cat and Sandman. Number 9 Spider Man No Way Home. Let me take you back to the MCU in the multiverse live action film. We dive into the third act, where Miles gets another reference. Spider-Man from alternate realities team up to fight villains from their universes, where in an epic showdown of good versus evil, the Spider-Man cure them. After the climax of the battle, we see the unmasked amazing Spider-Man approaching a supervillain Electro, 
who is now depowered. Max is stunned to finally see the young face behind the mask and compliments him on his looks. However, he believed that Spider-Man was different underneath based on his traits. You got that suit. You help a lot of poor people. I just thought you was going to be black. Peter humbly apologizes for not living up to Max's expectations, but the latter believes that there must be a Spider-Man out there who fits that description. I don't apologize. There's got to be a black Spider-Man somewhere out there. And with the multiverse in play, we know that he's right. Miles Morales has multiple animated appearances, but this also leaves us excited for the confirmed live-action project. Number 10. Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse In the 16 months since the last film, Miles has a new suit, faces off against many villains, discovers he can absorb electricity, and does countless sketches of Gwen. The only problem? He's still struggling to tell his parents the truth about being Spider-Man. After fighting a new villain, The Spot, Miles heads to his parent-teacher interview to discuss his future. Despite his grade slipping due to being Spider-Man, and a B in Spanish. What? Woo! Miles is determined to study quantum mechanics to figure out how to travel across dimensions and meet Gwen and the other Spider-Man. But when Spot escapes, Miles confronts him again, where he reveals the truth about Miles. My spider from another dimension made you Spider-Man. And himself. I was in this collider room when you blew it up! Later, Gwen reconnects with Miles, but the reunion is short-lived as she leaves the track down spot. Miles follows her and meets Pavithra and Hobi, but introductions are cut short as Spot uses colliders to grow more powerful to defeat Miles. When the collider collapses, Miles manages to save a police inspector, though unintentionally triggers the collapse of Pavithra's universe. Members of the Spider Society arrive to contain the chaos, while Miles and the others head to HQ, where he reunites with Peter and meets Miguel. However, Miles soon learns the importance of canon events, the connections that bind our lives together, and their impact on the Spider-Verse. But those connections can be broken. That's why anomalies are so dangerous. Realizing that his dad will be Captain, Miles gets a vision of Spot killing his dad. Despite knowing this is a canon event, Miles can't bear the thought of letting his dad die, so he runs with the society hot on his tail. As Miguel reveals he's the original anomaly. There's a world out there with no Spider-Man to protect them because it bit you instead. No. You're not supposed to be Spider-Man. Miles escapes and uses a machine to go home. But he starts glitching and realizes that he's in the universe of the spider that bit him. What shocks him even more is seeing Uncle Aaron alive while his dad is dead. Miles is then attacked. And as he learns that the Miles on this earth is the Prowler who refuses to release him, Miles prepares to escape. Number 11. Marvel Spider-Man 2 The third entry is about Miles' struggle to balance his life and being Spider-Man with a lot on his plate. It's just a lot right now. He's trying to write a college application essay, but can't seem to talk about himself without mentioning Spider-Man. When Peter walks in late to teach his physics class, Miles notices a sandstorm brewing outside. Bathroom! So they suit up and swing into action. Together, they defeat Sandman and help people, including none other than J. Jonah Jameson. But as Miles regroups with Genki and Haley, he learns about their successes while he has nothing good happening. Wanting to take a break from his essay, Hey Miles, you busy? I need- Whatever it is, I'm down. Miles helps Peter protect transfers to the raft. But things take a dark turn when Miles discovers that Martin Lee, who killed his father, is also being transferred. Miles. Craven's army of hunters attack the convoy, where Miles learns that his powers are different around Lee's negative energy. Craven captures Lee, but Miles is determined to track him down. After helping Black Cat escape from more hunters, he joins Peter in stopping the lizard, where he realizes that Peter's new suit is changing him. He's not normally like that, right? He's never like that. Eventually, Craven kidnaps Miles and makes him fight Lee to the death. Instead of seeking revenge, he helps Lee escape to find Spider-Man. Peter rescues Miles, but when the symbiote takes over, Miles has to fight and help separate him from it. But things get even more complicated when Harry bonds with the symbiote to become Venom and infects the city with symbiotes. Miles works with Lee to save Peter from one inside him, 
but Lee plans to sacrifice his powers to save Peter. Miles admits he won't forgive Lee, but will release his hate as they free him together. Reforming your greatest enemy. Can't say I've ever done that. With the new suit, Time for a Miles Morales original, you know? Miles later fights Venom and protects MJ when she destroys Venom's invasion meteorite. After Peter decides to take a break from being Spider-Man, Miles is trusted to protect the city. I got this. All of it. But he also finishes his essay, gets a girlfriend, and meets his mom's boyfriend. Number 12. The Spider Within, a Spider-Verse story. On to another project set in the continuity of the Spider-Verse films, comes the six-minute horror vibe story set between the first and second one. Although the official release date of the short film is still unknown, some viewers were lucky enough to see it. The story focuses on Miles, but the plot is something you don't see often, the anxiety heroes go through and handle alone. <sighs> God, what you do? As a teenage superhero, Miles has a lot on his plate, from juggling family responsibilities to keeping up with school, all while being New York's one and only Spider-Man. It's no surprise that the constant strain of doing too much and having a lot on his mind takes a significant toll on him. As his fear grows when it suddenly attacks him from every corner, he tries to confront it. Miles soon realizes that the only way to overcome anxiety is not to attack it head on, but to be vulnerable and ask for help. And that is precisely what Miles does as he turns to his dad, who calms him down. Why aren't you at school? Whoa, 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 it's okay, it's okay. This short story does an outstanding job of highlighting the effects of stress on the mind and the importance of seeking help when needed. Number 13. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse Now yes, you're right again. This is another project that hasn't even come out yet, but it has been confirmed as the final film in the trilogy. Although it won't be released in March 2024, it could potentially be released in late 2024 or sometime in 2025, but it will be worth the wait. The last film ended with Miles stuck on Earth-42, trying to escape from his doppelganger, the Prowler. If I don't get home, our dad is going to die. Your dad. Meanwhile, Gwen formed her own team to find Miles and help him in his fight against the Spider Society and the Spot. I have a feeling that Miles will either escape or team up with his doppelganger, who on this Earth is more of an anti-hero. The big question is, if Miles warns his dad, Will his entire universe and the Spider-Verse collapse, or will his universe be an exception and his dad survives? Either way, we know the story will lead to an intense battle between Miles and the Spot, and with their shared visions, they reveal that the future will be chaotic. Across the Spider-Verse is already a masterpiece, but this film will be groundbreaking in how it concludes the trilogy story and character arcs. And that's a wrap on Miles Morales. Until we see him again in The Spider Within, Beyond the Spider-Verse, the next Insomniac Spider-Man game, and the confirmed live-action film. What's your favorite adaptation of Miles Morales as Spider-Man? Take a leap of faith and let me know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on my latest content. Oh, and a huge shout out to my amazing patrons for helping keep this channel running. If you'd like to join them, Head over to my Patreon page to receive exclusive perks like early access to videos, access to my private Discord server, and discounts on merch. Until next time, keep swinging!